cards triggering, mm. keeping them alive here, but the mom does get knocked, and Holly may also just from the wretch. Hello, this is another mutation guide from Keith Thustis, and this was a tournament match in February, and that's me. Watch their life bars to see what happens. And it is Monrez coming in, keeping them alive, but re knocking no. the exploder along with Doc. Holly, the wretch go around, and the common are going to get taken out. That is 35 seconds. Rolling back in time, here is the same attack from my POV. As always, I'm surveying the time and location for a good exploder spawn. And there it is, devastating. Big! Big! <laughs> so how do exploder players do that? Exploder play is about employing two prime concepts. Number one, awareness of the entire game, so you know just where and when to be. And second, timing. When can you detonate to cause devastation to the cleaner team? In this clip, I only spawn once, but it's fantastic. Early, I was trying to get a sneaky spawn between the cleaners, but it was blocked. Later, I saw my teammates making a big push, so came to assist and maneuvered myself to where the tall boy would funnel them. I apologize for many of these clips being from before the Tunnel to Terror expansion that introduced the warped classes. I've not been playing Exploder much since then, as I've wanted to learn the new classes. This round one clip is from a competitive game, a pug on Riptide, so everyone here knows at least the basics. My attacks aren't devastating, but I do what I can. A decent first spawn, but not overwhelming. I spawned because they were distracted, but the stinger was blasted quickly so they could shift fire to me. This is an unusual upgrade path, so note we have all three families being played. As the lone Reeker family player here, I focus offense because it's the best for Exploder. Utility's good too. As Exploder, you'll be alive for three seconds, and then you'll be waiting. So most of your time playing Exploder will be observing the cleaners. Where and when can your three seconds be as valuable as a good tall boy that lives for a long time? Looks like a great opportunity here, but one cleaner very wisely spawn blocks the other side of the container. I improvise and detonate on two or three. I volunteer my points for our stinger. Yeah, you got ramping damage on the stinger. What else do you want next? Mobility or lifesteal? Lifesteal. Always ask yourself, when should I be alive for those three seconds to wreck them? This cleaner down is not a great opportunity, but I was predictable. It came from a obvious place and wasn't able to detonate. Still, the revive was canceled from my death explosion, which does half damage compared to the detonation. Downed cleaners are a particularly tempting target for exploders because detonating just after they're up normally downs them again, costing them another life, and hits the reviver too. There's two end caps now. This should be an easy exploder attack, but one cleaner was ready to evade and the other was knocked away by a tall boy, so nothing. The exploder is substantially stronger in round two. This clip is from another pug weeks later. They were spread, so I really ought to have picked another class, but I just wanted to use the exploder anyway. That's one down. You can see that we are well upgraded with offense and utility maxed, and Tallboy is 3-3-3, so any further points from here put on commons makes sense. I tried spawning while the Talboy was in, but was spawn blocked, so it was a bit late. Used a nade. Use the time between spawns to not only observe the cleaners and report the weaknesses to your team, but also to monitor mutation points and upgrade paths. Are there upgrades available the team could buy right now? Is a cleaner isolated and no one sees him or her? Ridden players that are spawned may be too busy to notice these things. Be a good teammate and use your power to observe and your microphone for full effect. They're spread, so the Exploder won't be great, so I switch. Took half of Doc. They're, no, they're gonna spread out because they know I'm an Exploder. So get ready, we're up to these tall boys go in. Yep, go, 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 go. I spawn in seven. Get away, watch for grenades. Almost. Even when dead, always be moving around. Watch for cleaners out of position. Test your spawn locations. Be ready oh. to jump in whenever you see an opening. Now ready, I'm just watching for the right opportunity, which this tall boy gives me, and whammo, good game. Down. Last one. 
It's locked, it's locked, it's locked. Nice. To sum up the basics, Exploder is only best if you can hit multiple cleaners with the detonation. Don't spawn near other mutations, they'll hear you and shoot you first. You only have 200 HP plus resistance, so only spawn when you know you can be devastating. One good spawn and detonation for Exploder, at least, is better than two or three bad ones. Because of its power, Exploder is firmly in A tier. Strong when well played, but not overpowered and it can be countered. I hope this introduction helps you, now I'll show a few advanced techniques. First, a blast from the past. Here are some rocket booms from Left 4 Dead. And you can actually do the same thing in Swarm. Run fast and then press jump and spawn, then detonate in the air or once you land. Another technique is to feint your detonation. Cleaners will scramble for cover, and then you can change your attack. To do this, press Frenzy Attack and hold it down. Then press Detonation to start that sound. Keep holding Frenzy this whole time. If you want to detonate, continue holding Detonation all the way. Here's that in a game. His life bar is a bit too high for detonation, so I'll just swipe him and let him blow me up next to him. This will be more damage if you can swipe and charge several times. This cleaner heard my detonation sound, so dodged away to avoid it, but I followed him and kept attacking. Lastly, sometimes you can free rotate while detonating as quickly as normal. Really hard to pull off, but this lets you chase the cleaners who try to dodge. You must press swipe and then detonate right after mounting an obstacle. Well, good luck. Exploder is a lot of fun, and if I regret making this guide, that's good work on you for implementing it.